years back when Hurricane Katrina hit. There was a political cartoon that showed someone in Seattle saying, those stupid people in New Orleans, how can they live in a place where the levees can break and hurricanes can come? And through the window you see a volcano exp exploding. And then there's somebody in Kansas City saying, those stupid people in Seattle, how can they stay in places where volcanoes can go off when you see a tornado through the window? <laughs> and then there's someone in California saying, those stupid people in Kansas, how can they live in a place where there are tornadoes? And of course, fires are sweeping across the hills. In other words, wherever you go, there's always going to be dangers. Because the body, having a body, leaves you exposed to all kinds of dangers. And you have to learn to live with that fact. There's no place you can go where there is no danger. The body carries dangers within it. Your heart keeps beating, but it could stop at any time. Each of your organs has its own diseases, and they can come at any time. But one thing is for sure, you've got this breath, and you've got a mind that can make choices. Some of those choices may be limited, but at least you have the choice to do something skillful or unskillful. And so long as you keep on making skillful choices, you've got something solid you can depend on. Even when the body goes, you've got some good karma, and you've developed good habits. As the Buddha said, all skillful qualities are rooted in heedfulness, the realization you can't just sit around and accept things as they are. You've got to figure out, what can I do to provide myself with something solid? Each time you breathe in, you've got that opportunity. Just as we have that chant, so I'm subject to aging, illness, death, and separation. These are the dangers that lie all around us and within us. And then it ends with, I have my actions. Those are the things you can depend on. So try to make your actions dependable. If you don't have dependable actions, then you're really up the creek. So notice whenever you have a choice between doing something skillful and unskillful, always take the skillful choice, and you won't regret it. Now, whether you're living in New Orleans or Seattle or Kansas or California, and the world comes closing in, you've got something that will allow you to escape. This is your escape hatch to something good. So do your best to keep it open.